Good evening and welcome back to Mobile Application Development Lab. Today we have our third experiment and it's a bit more interesting than the format we have done, okay? So we are creating an employee management system using SQ, SQLite, okay? So SQLite is a lightweight database that the Android Android um, Studio uses, okay? Or Android applications use, okay? Okay, the Linux um, code uses SQLite as a database because it's lightweight, okay? And basically, this application will have different levels of authentication for admin and the end user and to use necessary UI components and to have operations such as insertion, modification, view, selected or all employee data. Now, understand something that an employee management system should be a system where if an employee logs in, sorry about that, if an employee logs in, he's supposed to see just his um, he's supposed to see just his details, but the admin can insert, can delete, can search, and all that. Okay, so let's look at the code. Okay, so on the leeway, right around the bat, we have our main activity. Our main activity, activity main is basically something like this. Okay, so something like this. the preview okay something like this okay so we have our text view and our buttons okay so now using this main activity the java if you click on um admin button it goes to the admin authentication class if you click on the employee button it goes to employee authentication class okay so let's let's start with um admin admin okay so admin authentication class we have um Define the edit test, okay? The identification class is something like this, okay? So there is enter admin ID, enter password, and there's login, okay? So, so what you what we basically did, how we basically, how we basically did uh, admin authentication is that we have a, we edit text ID pass, okay? So we found it the both of the edit text, okay, using the ID, I wrote the ID the user ID, I wrote the ID the user password, okay, and we gave it to this these variables, okay. Then we define the string of admin ID, admin password, okay, and then on admin login, when the login button is clicked, this um, function is an event handler, okay. The ID is gotten using ID dot get text dot to string, and the password is gotten using pass dot get text dot to string, okay. And then if admin ID equals a particular um, um, username and password, okay, you start the intent of admin page dot class, okay. So that's basically the admin authentication, okay. And then we have the admin page, okay. Now the admin page uses the database because it, it gets either gets values from there or it deletes values or inserts values, okay. So let's look at the data handler. Okay, this is data handler is what connects this data handler connects our application to our SQL database. Okay, so first thing we did was that we defined a public class data handler that extends SQLite Open Helper. Okay, and then the next thing is that the constructor of the data handler contains the context, the name of the, okay the database, the name the database um, factory and the version. Okay, so then it over overrides there are two or th there are two main and um, there are three main two main functions that a data handler a any class that extends SQLite open helper overrides okay the first one is on create the second one is on upgrade okay on create is when the, the the table is created okay and an upgrade is is if there's an upgrade in the database version okay what happens okay so now public void on create you use this db dot execute sql as exec sql okay then we create a table of employee that has employee id which is the primary key employee name okay which is uh, employee name then employee job which is text and employee salary which is a particular amount okay and then on upgrade we do drop table if exists employee okay these are the basic 
remember these are the basic two um, functions or methods that you should override each time you extend a class extend a class open helper okay and then we define our own functions functions that will enable us insert delete or modify data in the database okay remember that these methods can only be done using the um these things can only be done by the admin himself okay so the first function we have is public void add okay in our add we have string id we have name we have job we have salary okay these are the database um column names okay so then we do we open the database in a writable format using sql database is equal to this dot get writable database okay so we can write values inside the database okay and then content values values is equal to new content values okay then values dot put we'll put the id the name the job salary okay and then database dot insert okay employee into the employee that's the table it inserts the values okay and then it closes the database okay so this is for insert insertion and then get all is for displaying all the um information in the database okay so for for inserting we open it in a writable data writable format for displaying we open the database in a readable format so we have this dot get readable database okay and then using our cursor cursor data type okay we we do database dot raw query select start from employee that's select all and the employees that are present in the, in the database okay and we give the result to this cursor okay now while cursor moves to next we, we get the results the the values okay into these particular strings okay and then we append them okay and now the 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 third um function is to get a particular and um, employee details okay so the query is differs from the, this select staff from employee there's no it just selects every employee in the database but this particular function in this and um, the query select staff from employee where employee id is equal to the given id okay so this function there's an id that is given okay okay and so it does the same thing but you only get the details of that particular employee and then we have for delete data okay so it opens in a writable format and it deletes the data that is given in this string id okay using database.delete okay then we have a, a, another interesting we have an, an interesting um authenticate employee okay now this authentication employee it checks whether um it checks if the the employee is an is available in the database okay so this prevents someone that is not an employee from logging into the database okay so what it does is that it has a count as a count value okay and then there's a string of id okay it has an id that is given um, is given as in the function okay so when you open the database in the readable format okay the query is select star from employee where this id is equal to this id okay so while it moves to next this id one is equal to whatever is the it matches this query okay now if the id is equal to no then count is zero that means the, data, the employee does not exist in the database while if it's equal to one it means the employee exists so it returns count okay so this is for authenticating authenticating the the employee okay so if the employee is a is actually an employee that is present he can log in and see his details else he can't log in then this get employee data is for a particular employee okay so this is for the employee himself when he's logging in he get using his id he selects his data and prints it for him so that's the data handler okay so in our admin page we use most of this um method that are really defined in our data handler okay so first of all we define the edit text values and the bottom values and the text view values we find all of them okay remember you have to call this is very important for you to be able to use the data handler um methods you have to call this final data handler data handler is equal to new data handler get application context okay employee is the database name null is the factory and one is the version okay this is this is exactly what is in the constructor of our data handler so when you call this okay 
then for add for add event when you click the add button okay you get the it gets the um the values from the edit text okay and using that our add um, method that we have seen before in data handler it sends it okay and then there's what display or the same thing happens it uses um the value from the um the method from the data handler and displays it okay and then we have get we have delete uh, delete functions okay that what is basically then for the employee the employee page employee authentication now, authentication employee is a bit different from the admin authentication okay and when we do our own uh, um, employee authentication it checks whether the employee is a member of the is in the database or is a part of the organization first okay and he does that with this authenticate employee okay we have seen we have seen the method in the handler okay if login is equal to one okay that means is 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 part of the um is is part of the database okay and password equals to the particular password it sends it to the employee page okay else incorrect is the ID or password so this is where we this is that um this is that function that we call in the data handler okay next thing we have the employee page or java the employee page or java is basically he has the name job salary and, and everything and text view okay so he gets all the data from the database okay using this particular using this particular function get employee data an id okay and you set the text and everything okay so that's basically what this management system is okay now if you run this code okay so first of all we are going to try as admin okay so let's go as admin first okay so admi admin 01 tab okay so we have we have this okay we can do display or and it displays all the employees in the database we have 101 is employee id chooks software development and the amount he earns he earns hundred thousand okay then we can search a particular employee if i type 102 and do search okay it displays just mary mary is 102 okay or we can employ a new employee okay let's let's try to employ a new employee so we stopped at 103 we can do 104 name john marketing 20,000 okay so when we do this so you can see John is added added to this so that's basically I'm gonna also delete John you can decide to delete John okay we say no we don't want John employee deleted okay when we display or oh, it's just the first three that's added okay so that's basically for um that's basically for the admin okay so the admin has the um he has the ability to do all these operations he can register he can display or he can delete he can search okay that's what he can do okay but the the employee is different altogether okay so the employee the only thing the employee can do is to view his data okay so i'm 101 okay as my my pass our password I have a password to try so the only thing you can do is to display the details okay what that mean can do the other operations the employee can only do this particular operation okay so that's the third experiment and thank you for joining